alligators, what's up? It's Ali Hardesty, and today I am finally doing an updated makeup routine. This is my everyday makeup that I do for school, whatever. I have class in like an hour, so I just went ahead and filmed this. You guys have been requesting it forever, so yeah, I'm going to attempt to do voiceover in this video, but if you guys just want me to talk next time normally, let me know in the comment section below. I'm not a beauty guru. I don't really know how to film these to be honest, but yeah, give me a thumbs up for effort. I suck at makeup, so the fact that I can even get my face to this level at all is kind of ridiculous. You do not need expensive makeup products. Some of these are name brands, some of these are drugstore, but I'll just be showing you guys throughout the video. Before I did all this to my face, I did use this brush to wash it because I wash my face every morning. And this brush, I have a code for 30% off in the description box. I'll also probably put it on the screen. I also just use some basic lotion from Target. This is Cetaphil to prime my face and let's go. Hey guys, so this is me focusing, trying to focus on the Clinique Moisture Foundation. So I'm gonna open that up. Oops, forgot to put up my hair. Now that I put up my hair, we are going to start applying the foundation. So I rub it in with my fingertips. I know that a lot of people are against doing this. They use a beauty blender, but I do have fairly clear skin. This has never been an issue for me. So I just sort of dab it on the different areas of my face. After rubbing it in with my fingers, I do start to use a flat brush this was like a dollar or two from elf it just sort of gives it more of that finished look and beats it into my face just like a beauty blender would next I use the transparent loose powder from Clinique I start by pouring it into the end capsule that way it's easier to get the product out and I use this huge fluffy brush that I got from Ulta I love it so much just rub it all over my face there's no real strategic method to doing this it just makes your face look really natural next I'm gonna use my hula benefit bronzer and just a flat brush I typically start off by going underneath my jawline and then I suction cut my cheeks like a fish and I do it right there as you can see on the screen sort of underneath my cheekbone and into my temples then I apply the bronzer right on my upper hairline next we're gonna do blush this is also from benefit it is Hervana so I use a little brush that is intended for blush and I put it on my little cheekbones and on my neck to finish things off as far as the face part of my makeup goes I use the elf highlighter with a little fan brush I put it just above where I applied the blush because I don't want to look too sweaty eyebrows probably take the longest for me when it comes to getting ready here I am using a pencil from Kelly Baker brows in the color brown as you will notice I am not necessarily filling them in I am just outlining them to sort of give them the shape that I want them to look like by the end of everything I do to them I also use use the back of the brush to brush through my eyebrows so that they are shaped a little bit better with the hairs. I do have very sparse eyebrows so this product acts as a really good foundation for what I'm going to do to them later. Next I use Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in the color soft brown with the pencil, oops dropped it, that comes with it with the angled little brush at the end. I start towards the tip or corner of my brow and just do light strokes in the direction of the hairs and then when going towards the front I use an even lighter touch with my hand just so it doesn't look as harsh. And if you have to color outside the lines or things get a little bit messy you can always go ahead and use a q-tip to clean things up like I did next I use the easy breezy brow shape and define little mascara wand thing from covergirl this step is crucial to me because I've noticed that if I do not do this in my makeup routine my eyebrows look really really light and not fill them properly on camera just because of my ring light so after I apply it I do take this little brush it was like one of those free mascara wand samples you can get at Mac or Ulta and I use that to brush it in my brows so that it's not too dark of a color just using the actual covergirl product now the final and last step I have when it comes to eyebrows is using this little highlighter pencil again from Kelly Baker brows and the little highlighter blending brush that comes with it so I just draw a basic line right under the brow bone and then use the brush to rub it in so that it matches my skin tone it makes the eyebrows stand out more personally I just think that it finishes off your brows so much better now it is time to curl our lashes. This is just a really basic eyelash curler that I got from Target. This one in particular is from the brand Revlon. Next, I'm going to be using the Thank Me Later eyeshadow primer. It really does make a huge difference when keeping your eyeshadow on all day. This is the Modern Renaissance palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I love it so much. We are going to be starting off with the color Love Letter. I tried to point to it and just using the brush that it came with to just do a base color. Sometimes I will put a little bit in the under corner of my eye as well 
still using the back end of the same brush. Next, we are going to be using a goldish color titled Primavera. I think that's how you pronounce it. And we're just going to use a regular brush. I don't know what these brushes are called. You can get them anywhere. Rubbing it all over that love letter color just to give it some added sparkle. Now we're going to use a flat brush and we're going to take the really white color Tempera at the top of the palette and put it underneath the brow bone. After this, I took another brush and just used the color Red Outre to sort of insert it into my crease to make it darken. That was freaking scary. Did you not see my eye roll back? Okay, let's never do that again. Now for eyeliner, this stuff is the best. It's Jessie's Girl Liquid Eyeliner, really good for doing wings. And yeah, I try to get them as even as possible. Sometimes it looks better than other times. Either way, I try to do little baby wings so it's not that hard to mess up. If you guys want me to, I can make a separate tutorial, but basically how I do my wings is I do the upper line and then I connect it with the lower line and fill it in, so yeah. After this, I will usually also do a little bit on my underwater line. This is Mascara Primer by L'Oreal Paris Voluminous Base, and I put it on before applying mascara. I do not use fake lashes, so this is necessary to help my regular mascara on my regular eyelashes stay on all day. The mascara I will be using today is from Clinique. Everyone knows how to apply that, but yeah, I don't really have a preference too much when it comes to mascara, but this stuff rocks. Now we're just going to apply some chapstick to make those lips luscious. And now for some lipstick, this is from Clinique, and it is in a really natural pinky color with some pinky gloss to go with it. I don't always wear lipstick or lip gloss, but I will for the sake of this tutorial. And it also kind of matches my eyeshadow, so why not? Thanks for watching. If you guys want more like this, be sure to let me know because I honestly never really know. I don't film these types of videos and I also don't know how you guys would like me to film them. Just let me know. Hopefully I did all right. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell. That way you are notified whenever I upload because I do it at least twice, three, four times a week. So yeah. And follow my social media if you want. I'll have it on the screen, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, whatever. I'm pretty active on there replying to people and whatnot. So yeah, just go ahead and follow me. And I will see you guys in the next video. Later, alligators. Bye.